Hello everybody and welcome back to the Battle of Olympus! I am Rufal, playing this game for you! Woo! We've arrived in Crete! And, well, you may remember how I referred to the forest in Peloponnesus as the most confusing maze in the game? That's because I had completely forgotten about this place. While Peloponnesus had, had 18 doors, Crete has 36. And there is a fast way through, but I am going to go and meet with all the NPCs that we can talk to, such as this guy. After Crete, you should head towards Phygra. The goddess of the moon, Diana, has a very important item. Yes, she does. It is quite important. It's also completely optional, but, um, you'll be in for a rough time if you decide to skip it. Whoa. Alright. I am heading five doors to the to the right, which should be this door here. Hey kid! Talk to me. Both Master Mars and Cersei are greedy. Cersei is the witch that will that will sew us that will sew those salamander skins together to make a shield. And this kid is giving us a very dire warning. If you want their help, you better start saving up olives. Because they both want a lot of it. Alright, well, one door to the left. Now one door to the right. No! I'm in the wrong spot. I'm lost again. I made a map of this place, but it doesn't help that much. <laughs> this was the door I wanted, so I could then go to the left and talk to this lady. Hey there. Going to Tartarus? Mes memorize this well. Yes. There is a brief door maze on the way into Tartarus. Alright, now we go back the way we came. Ultimately, we need to get back to the to the blue corridors where I encountered that fountain. Which is going to be the next door. Aha! So over on this side, we have a fountain. Yay! Now on the other side of, of this spot, we will have our Olympian. This is the pathway to Mars. Take up to the ceiling, and jump. Try to jump over the ninja at the last moment, and when you do that right, you avoid the two flying creatures as well. Yes, I am Caesar. Hello, Mars. Okay. Now, uh, Mars here is the one god in the game. Definitely do not want to lie to. If you don't have all have 80 olives, say no. If you don't, then he will take the sandals away. And escaping this place without the sandals, in order to go and get them again, that's a headache. Oh yes, and when we go when we go to Mercury's temple, we'll find that Jupiter summoned him away again, so we get to go through through that nonsense again as well. But now we have the now we have the bracelet. What's it do? It has two effects. First, it lets us shoot lightning without hurting ourselves. Second, it doubles our hitting strength. So we now hit twice as hard as we did before with all weapons. Thus, the Sword of Vulcan is hitting... Oh, hang on a second while I figure out where I'm going. I need two doors to the left, okay. This door, one more. And we are back at where we came in. Take that, punk. As I was saying, now that we have the bracelet, with the Sword of Vulcan, we are hitting 12 times as hard as we did at the start of the game. 
pretty awesome. And we can just go nuts with the lightning. Very useful. But it is grinding time because I need to work up 80 rupees before I go and see the witch. One moment. And we're back. With a great many olives. Let's fish and be on our way. Take that. Fun note about that guy. His axe will do damage to you until it despawns. Alright, now. We need to meet with the witch. So, two doors to the left. Oh. One. Out of the way, punk. Two. All right. One to the right. And then one to the left. We found a witch. May we find her? Please? Can we burn her? Ugh. Crete is, in my opinion, perhaps the worst part of the game, just because of that of the grind that we're for that gets forced on us. But oh well. Exit the red corridor the way we came in, and just do two doors to the right. That was one door to the right, which is that fountain. The second door will lead us to the Minotaur of Crete. Ah. Out of my way, punks. Now, olives are not completely useless to us at this point. The... Well, we'll get into that after we've dealt with this minotaur. Which we are going to deal with by just shooting him in the head with lightning. Because that is a lot easier than trying to stab him. So we can meet the nim. Yeah, of course she was. She's dead. Venus can lead me to Tartarus through the power of the miracle of love. Hooray! The gravity of love will suck us down. And Cleo's clothes turn green for reasons unexplained. Thanks, Cleo. Door to the land where Pluto lives is along the sea between Crete and Argolis. It's been opened. Venus sent the nymphs to help me. It's kind of already a little late because you're already dead, but whatever. Right. Now. If we really felt gutsy, we could go there and try and finish the game. We could do it. We might regret it, but we could do it. It would be hard. That's what it would be. Oh. But, well, I'm going to show off the entrance because it's just kind of on my way out. Let's see here. Well, let's... First off, let's actually go heal again. Ah! Now, we need the far right door in the next- in the room just to the right. Pardon me, sir. And you. Alright. And one door to the left. Because it's the only door. Well, there was one to the right, but... You again! He was a great warrior, then he took a sword to the knee. Let's get out of here. And this right here is the pathway to, to uh, Tartarus, the doorway to hell, if you will. Getting back out if you go in there is a complicated process, so let's just not do that yet. There is, there are ways out. But we aren't re quite ready to go there.
mostly because, well, there's still one more Ambrosia to find and one more goddess to meet. Let's just take a shortcut through the Salamander Pit. Arm the staff and the harp, because those are what I'll need I'll want next. And catch a ride with Pegasus. Get me out of here, buddy. Ah. Run, Caesar! You have places to be! Ah oh yes, the reason to keep picking up olives is that, well, down in the in the Temple of Pluto, the last the last place where you can heal heal before fighting him will actually charge you 30 olives. Totally optional, but it's there, it's useful. If you have the olives, it's great. If you don't, meh. Who cares? Let us prepare ourselves to confront the fire-breathing dragon we were told was old was guarding this this other place. I completely forgot the name. Because it's hard to pronounce. Ragya! In fact, this fire-breathing dragon will be our first opponent! Everyone prepare yourselves! Okay, dragon, where are you? Darn it! Princess Luna? No, 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 no! I came here to fight a dragon, not a pony! Whoa! This pony is going to beat the crud out of me! Well, whatever! Now, this place is a... It, it's a one-directional maze! Basically, if you go the wrong way, you'll reach a dead end pretty quickly. Now, our ultimate goal is to reach that door just above me. And this area here is perhaps the worst of the dead ends. It leads to the false shore in Argolis. Take that, Princess Luna. Out of my way. Might as well show it off so you can see why it's the fault, why I call it the fault shore. Now this is the, this is a fault shore. This gap in front of me is not one that can be traversed. I guess this was done to, to keep you from reaching the first nip without getting the crystal, but you can't reach the you can't get the you can't reach the second nymph without the crystal anyway. So why'd they go to the effort? Whatever. By the way, pony, we have a rather harsh uh, place to go through. Mostly because, as you may have noticed, snakes, lots and lots of snakes. And the gargoyles. Some snakes are bigger than others. And fire breathing. Good thing for that shield. Just think, if I didn't have that bracelet, that would have needed eight hits. Which all would have done damage to me. Oh well. As stated, in earlier, all doors I don't go into are their dead ends, or ends are completely un or just completely unimportant. This is exactly what a dead end is. Oh well, this spot here is um, it too is a dead end, but it, but at least it's a useful one. Just have to get these stakes out of the way. Patience is kind of key. What do you have up here that says such great value? Health. 
this, this area basically marks a halfway point. Granted, if you die, you're going all the way back to the beginning, but hey, at least you can, at least you don't have to be frugal with your resources up till that point. And it's not that far from here, either. Well, actually, it kind of is. But whatever. We need this door! This is perhaps the most complicated snake to deal with. Can't say why, it just is. Dump the fire and shoot it! Right in the head. It's a headshot's the only thing that works. Ignore this door! We want the stairs! Be mindful of those gargoyles. And jump! Take that, punk! Aha! Alright! Want to go in this door, for starters. The door below us leads to the door below us. But we want to go up here first. Don't mind the snakes. Want to talk to you. Can we get the last Ambrosia? For free. Now to escape somehow. Let's go. If you're really feeling like you want to... Ow. Avoid the snakes? Then... Just stand about here and start shooting down fireballs from the staff of Fennel. Each snake needs four hits, but... Hey, they go down. Alright. Oh. Alright, down to the store. Oh. Ah. Now the way that st that guy shot me, I might as well just walk down the stairs. Our hero won't hold his shield properly to block while he's standing on stairs, so... That's the reason we took the door. We're almost there! Out of the way, snake! Piss! Clear off! Just one last stairwell! Do yourself a favor and fight these guys while standing on the stairs so that they can't bump you off the cliff. Off the ledges. Because each tra screen transition is a fatal fall. We get to meet the goddess! Talk to me! Hello, Diana! Pluto's got a magic hat? Does he pull rabbits out of it? Do you have the, this moon crystal? Yeah, Pluto does not pull rabbits out of his hat. His magic hat makes him invisible. You can definitely fight him without the moon crystal, but... Well, he's completely invisible, so you'll be in for a rough time. Now, because I don't want to go walking through, back through all that, let's, let's make this jump. Oh! Oh, I almost didn't. Alright, now we just need to prepare ourselves for the... For the final piece of the game. Everyone say goodbye to Princess Luna. Ah! No! Take that! Now, to... To reach Tartarus, we need to approach it from either Argolis or Crete. Crete is a lot closer. 
so we'll just go there. And pre- er, Argolis is closer than- is closer. Is that what I said? I don't know. Argolis is closer than Crete, so that's where we're gonna go. And in the case of both places, there are convenient- there are convenient fountains for refilling health. We haven't seen the one in Argolis yet, so you better- I'd best show that off. But first, we gotta get there. Out of the way, shrimp. I love the music in this game. Alright. Now it turns out that there are two serpent pits in... in this, uh, second cavern. The second pit... The second serpent pit leads us... is the salamander pit. But the first one is a viper pit, where we have these blue snakes. Go away, bad. And it is in fact here. Or specifically this hole. The first one's a death pit. Apart from the change in the colors, it looks exactly the same. But we have health. Woohoo! And those vipers do not respawn as aggressively as the serpents do. Oh! The bats! The bats! Run! Alright, let's come in here and talk to Mercury before we call it quits. Blah 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 to you too. But next time, we shall head to we shall head to Tartarus and take on Pluto. We'll see you then. Later.